what's going on YouTube? It's Avery Heaney TV here. Today we are at the Grayscape for my first visit of 2024. And today I'm here specifically for the brand new coaster, Bobcat, a Gravity Group family wooden coaster. This is gonna be my second ever Gravity Group. The only one I've ridden so far is Kuka Lane at Emerald Park that used to be called Tato Park in Ireland. I haven't went on that since 2016, but what the park's looking like right now? Um, Looks like Steam and Demon I think is a walk-on from the looks of it. And now I notice the launch side of Sasquatch is working and I even saw the drop side too. So for once they've been fixing that. It's been years. All right, everybody, we made it to the park and I am right at Bobcat, the new coaster. And I really love the theming they added already. Like, look at this. They have a man-made waterfall with the Bobcat on it. That's really cool theming right there. Way to go, Great Escape. No, oh, seriously, this is awesome. It is a bit rainy out, so hope it's not gonna be too bad of rain, but here we go, guys. The Bobcat, let's go. So this is the line queue for Bobcat, this is brand new. We're going through the switchbacks, and I think it actually might be. Holy crap, that is loud. But I think this is gonna be a walk-on, folks. This is cool. What's really cool about Bobcat is they pretty much kept the remembrance of uh, L5 Bobsled's old station. You're back with Ranger Randy's radio show. Wow. We're getting close to the station and it's a walk on. That's awesome. Now we have Tyler. How you doing? We're good. So you already went on Bobcat, you said? Yes, twice. How was it for you? It was very good. Nice. Back row on my second ride. Oh, man. It resembles an RMC in a way. Oh yeah. So I only did one ride so far. It was in the very last seat, and I gotta tell you, for a gravity group, not bad. Though my only complaint with those Timberliner trains, I'm not so big on the restraints, but other than that though, you still get like loads of airtime for a family coaster. I was quite surprised. I thought the same thing. There was a lot of airtime in the restraints they had. All clear. Just means you guys are out of here. Enjoy riding the Bobcat. Bye guys. Bye guys. Welcome back, Train One. How's your ride? All right, everybody. We did one ride on Flashback. That was a very solid Pacoma Boomerang. Also, we did two multiple rides on the Comet while one of our rides we were stuck on the lift hill. No evac though, but those strong laterals never gets on Comet. And I think Comet might still have Bobcat beat to be honest, but even though Bobcat is short, it still provides a lot of ejector moments. I was very surprised with that too. So what did you think of the rides overall so far, Tyler? Awesome so far, great day. Next attraction is going to be Sasquatch, the SNS drop tower, formerly known as where they had it at Six Flags New Orleans until Hurricane Katrina hit. So now I notice Sasquatch is extremely faded now. I wonder what happens. But now I'm noticing both towers are running now for once. That's never really happened all those other years I was at Grayscape. Last time they probably even had both towers running was like 2018 or 2019. All right, guys, unfortunately, Desperado Plunge just closed for today. Was really looking forward to ride the log flume, but I didn't even see one single drop of water. So that's definitely closed for sure. It definitely probably gonna do some work on it. Should open back up soon. Raging River, I know for a fact, is open. 
Canyon Blaster was running and according to around 3.10 p.m., it is a walk-on. All right, next attraction is going to be Steam and Demon. This is going to be my first ride on it for this season, of course. And this is actually one of the arrow whoopers I'm not a fan of. However, last year when I was able to ride Steam and Demon, I was able to tolerate it. So I don't know what my ride's going to be like this time because arrow whoopers, you just have to ride a specific way. Make sure to keep your head forward away from the restraint to prevent yourself from getting a head bang. Not gonna lie though, it did crush my shoulders a little bit, which is the downside, but other than that though, I was able to tolerate it than, than the previous years on Steam and Demon, so. And it's definitely a walk-on too. Next attraction, Canyon Blaster. Last year, I absolutely hated it. It was actually an F tier rankings for me because of how rough the trains are and the track profiling absolutely sucks. Well, you we'll we'll do it. Oh yeah, definitely a walk on. You looking for it for Canyon Blaster? Let's do it, bud. Oh yeah. I'm not gonna lie though, I like the area where it's at, but the track profiling is just bad. And yeah, by the way, Steaming Demon this time, absolute trash. It actually really bruised my shoulders this time. Now it's back to F tier. It was D tier last year, now it's back to F. I can understand why people hate on that arrow looper. All right, we just got off Canyon Blaster and that was absolute trash. That really bruised my thighs and knees for a little while. How about you, Tyler? Eh. Eh. All right. I will say it's definitely the worst arrow mine train out there, folks. Yeah, I mean, I used I mean, I used to think Runaway Mine Train a great adventure was rough as heck, but but then I appreciate it a little more cuz you can never forget that ejector moment at the end of the ride. That thing is nuts. Candy Blaster to me it's just a boring layout and the helix section is just so janky and it like bruised it like really got my legs a little bit with the metal restraint. You know, the metal that's attached to the restraints. Now we're just walking around the area again. Probably maybe head back to Bobcat or maybe even cool off on the Raging River. Who knows? All right, everybody. I just did my fourth ride on Bobcat. I gotta tell you, I think I have a favorite seat on this ride so far. That has to be row two. Row two really shocked me today. That was on my third ride. Yanked out of my seat. Despite it's a really short gravity group, that really thing, that thing just like blown me away because like I got so much ejector out of my seat. Strong positive G's too for a family coaster. Great addition for the park, that's for sure. All right, everybody, we are right outside the former entrance to Alpine Bobsled. But what I really like about this park is that they decided to keep the old entrance just to remember Alpine Bobsled. And what I mentioned earlier about Bobcat was the station, the station like um, has remembrance of Alpine Bobsled. They did add some, some like uh, more theming to it, but I love how they kept the same station exactly the same. That's really cool. I have not seen the go-karts run at all today, so that was, that's probably closed. I'm probably gonna head back to Comet for one of my last laps, and then hopefully, if time, Adirondack Outlaw. Well, it looks like Comet is stuck on its lift, and I can't believe my first ride on the Comet this year I was stuck on its lift. Don't know evac though. Guys, I don't know if this is true. I might be getting a Zen ride on Comet. There's only one person in line and me in the back. I might get a Zen ride, I don't know. So earlier when I was in the cave with Tyler, the waterfalls are actually turned off. Now all of a sudden they turn it on. I love to see that. That's really cool. Now I'm on my way to Adirondack Outlaw for my last ride and then um, I will call that a Six Flags day. All right guys, to end off the day, got on Adirondack Outlaw. Oh my god. That is still my favorite flat ride to this day. And in my opinion, it's still the best ride in the park. That ride really packs a punch. There is this one moment where I was going like upside down 
play, I stayed in the hang time position. Then once I was landing down, I was swinging, being yanked out of my seat. That thing really caught me off guard today. Maybe one of the best rides I even had on Outlaw. Also, I did four total rides on the Comet. Though one of my rides, I was stuck. I will say Comet, it is a bit rough, but that's expected for many PTC wooden coasters. And it does have the issue where the restraint would slam you down midway through the ride to prevent yourself from your time. But other than that though, Comet's laterals always slaps. It is like probably one of the best laterals that you've experienced on any coaster. And Steam and Demon, yeah. This time when I did it, terrible. That's actually now F tier to me. And Candy Blaster too. Candy Blaster I was not so fond with. And used to be better all those years, but now each time when I ride it, it's just getting worse and worse. This is one of my favorite areas of this area of the park. I really love Cinderella's Castle or whatever the castle's called. Maybe it's called the, the Storyland Castle, but I think that's actually been around when it was Storyland. Love the fountains that they have to it too. I've always seen this ever since I went to Grayscape. Brings me back memories. Saw Satch Watch going again. That's cool. Park's about to close in like two minutes. And I gotta say, very solid day at the park, for sure. And of course, to end off Great Escape, you enter through the Great Escape Emporium. But, thank you. Let's see what they got for merch today. That's pretty cool. Gray Escape shirt, just with the logo, with the boomerang, Sasquatch with that. Great Escape with the boomerang logo. That's pretty cool. Any day at Six Flags is a great day. That's a nice shirt. Great Escape. That's cool. If you like it, I might get that shirt eventually. I still need to get a Comet shirt, though I don't really have much money for that today, but maybe next time when I go, I might get one. I don't know. And of course they got the Bobcat already for merchandise, so that's really cool too. Got Comet glasses, Outlaw glass. Got a couple of shot glasses there too. Lanyards, pins. I love it. Well, here are some very common species of the Adirondacks. These are Canada geese. You get to see some wildlife at Grayscape every once in a while. That's pretty cool. Well, everybody, Grayscape has come to an end for tonight, and it was a great time. Literally every ride was like a walk-on, except for like Pandemonium and Adirondack Outlaw because they're known for like bad capacity. But other than that though, there was even no way for Raging River. I didn't get a chance to do the water rides today, but um, I did, however, got to do an upcharge ride, and I had enough money for it. I was so lucky for it, too. I got to do Daredevil Dive, and this time, it was actually my first time riding a Sky Coaster alone, because I've always run on it with somebody else. I was actually low-key terrified, and typically I don't get terrified on rides very often. But the thing is, even if I'm terrified on a ride, I still have a great time. I just go on it, like, even when it looks terrifying to me, I just like, nope, I'm going on it. No matter if it looks terrifying or not. I also got to do Sasquatch today, and Sasquatch, in my opinion, after so many years riding it for the drop side, because it's always been closed, I found it to be actually a little weaker than normal. I recently went on Dominator at Dorney Park, and I was very surprised with the drop. In my opinion, it's probably one of the best drops I've ever experienced on an SNS drop tower. Though, in my opinion, the best SNS drop tower I've ridden so far is definitely hands down Scream at Six Flags New England because not only the launch is good and the drop is good, but you also get a combo on that one. Grace Gate, folks, very underrated park in my eyes for the Six Flags chain. There's so much mountain terrain because you're right in the Adirondack Mountains. So much rocks you see. And there's just like so much theming too, like nowadays. All those years, like there's always been theming, but like then in the recent years when like Adirondack Outlaw opened and like Raging River Gods like Makeover and now Bobcat, they've added like more waterfalls and even like animals you even see from the Adirondacks. That's what I really like about this park. 
I'm going to end it right here, folks. Thanks for watching. Please comment and subscribe below. And as always, peace out and stay tuned for more coming soon.